Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to solve the 4x4x6 Fisher cube. Now I'm proud to say that uh, I taught myself how to solve this cube alone and uh, it's actually a very challenging puzzle and before you start this I suggest you know how to solve the 4x4x6 uh, normal cube which uh, will aid you a lot because yeah I, I solved it using knowledge I learned uh, to, like to uh, using the knowledge I knew from solving that cube so yeah basically I'm just scrambling it now and what's important is as you can see try to separate all the layers like scramble all the layers before scrambling it into a 4x4 and uh, yeah it's very important and uh, yeah try to scramble it as much as you can so I'll be back after so after you're do you've done this you can scramble it like a 4x4 four four, and I'll be back after I've scrambled the cube so now I'm back and I have fully scrambled this cube now as you can see like some parts like this I did not scramble it very well but anyways it doesn't matter because what's important is that you learn how to solve the cube and so basically now the first step that you do is you solve it exactly like a 4x4 four four because essentially now now as you can see these internal these internal pieces are j jumbled together so it works just like a 4x4 four four. 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 and the last one so what you do is first i like to start with the centers and since it's a fisher cube i like to start with the super cube centers so um, which is basically the these these weird centers so basically now you solve it like a fisher cube and basically the colors you're gonna have like a white face a blue face a yellow face and a green face which means that the center of that face which is a mixture of the white and blue face will be the white and the blue center so basically you make strips like this like you do on a 4x4 and you make them with two different colors so as you can see here I'm, I already have two white strips and I'm just going to make the blue strip and uh, yeah as you can see I'm just using normal 4x4 uh, maneuvers sorry to make these strips now that now that I've made the strip as you can see uh, I put them on one face just like I do on a 4x4 and uh, yeah as you can see this is uh, what I get so you do the same thing but you have to make sure that as you can see so the white goes here then green goes there because that's that's exactly how uh, or rather you can even flip it around like this so that you have the whites together and then the blue goes here and you just make the blue strip then and you keep using these two strips like making these strips to uh, yeah to solve the cube as you can see now you see i have the blue blue white white and now finally with the green strip which uh yeah you just use normal four by four techniques to create and you see the green goes here as such then you need to have the yellow strip as well which I just created as you can see you put that with the blue and uh, finally the last green one which uh, yeah the last green strip oh yeah there's also the yellow I forgot there's one more yellow one but yeah basically you put it here the green and you make the last yellow one and yeah as you can see you have all the, these four centers done now as for the last two centers again you just use a, a four, uh, four by four techniques to reduce the last two centers and uh, yeah basically uh, yeah now after you're, you've done with the first part what you have to do is you have to reduce the edges like a 4x4 four four. and uh, I'm gonna skip this step because it's very easy and you should be able to solve it since you know how to solve a 4x4 four four, and at least I'm assuming that you do but basically uh, what you're solving is these outer edges and the way you have to solve it is you have to match them up to the center first now as you can see like this 
so you see this is where this belongs so you need a white orange piece here and there are two of those actually because one belongs here but only one will fit here and so you need to find it which uh, if I can find yeah so this one and as you can see this one is the correct one because it fits nicely and uh, yeah basically you use 4x4 four four edge pairing uh, uh, maneuvers to do it so and as you can see I have paired this edge with its center and you continue doing this until you're done with the 4x4 four four stage and you've reduced it back to a cuboid and uh, yeah I'm gonna skip this stage because it's very easy and you should be able to do it now as you can see I've uh, paired all the edges and stuff and uh, now you can just start solving it like a normal 4x4 uh, four four cube by basically just like solving solve the first two layers because that should be enough just to I mean so, solve yeah solve the first two layers and fix the top layer so that you form a cuboid and uh, yeah that's all you need so basically as, as you can see even the bottom does not really have to match as you can see I'm just forming it into a cuboid so th yeah basically that's all that matters so just solve it so that you reduce it back into a cuboid and I mean if you really want just solve it how, how it's supposed to be solved but uh, yeah I, ju I just don't because uh, as you can see I got this Fisher parity I'll just solve it quickly and uh, yeah as you see I'm just taking it back to cuboid form and yeah As you can see now that I've done and now that I'm done with re reducing the cube back to a cuboid I can start by uh, fixing uh, some of the stuff and uh, basically now yeah just one thing I forgot to mention just make sure that these this slice is correct because that slice should be correct so the middle slice when you're building it back to a cuboid uh, I forgot to do this this time, but yeah, the middle slice should be correct. And now, as you can see, I've fixed my middle slice. Now, the first thing you have to do is you have to pair these inner edge pieces. And uh, basically, as you can see, for example, this one's paired. Then I go to this one, and you need a yellow piece here. So you find a yellow piece which fits there. As you can see, uh, I don't think I have one with me. Yeah, you see there's no yellow piece on the top layer which fits here, which means that it must be down here. So I take it above and now well actually as you can see that fits very nicely here. So I can just start with here since I have some of it done. You see this is also done. So you just insert it like that. And now the last one is what's missing and it's the last pieces which are missing. So I'm gonna insert this down here. And this is what I have. Now what I need is, look, I need to look at what's fixed and what's not fixed. As you can see, this is wrong. It's not fixed. This is also wrong. It's not fixed. This is also wrong. It's not fixed. However, this is right and it's fixed. So that's correct. Now I have four incorrect ones. And basically what I do, so I go to the one which is incorrect at the bottom layer. And the rest are correct. So this requires a white piece here. So I take the wrong white piece, which is this one, put it on the opposite side, as you can see here. And just like you do with a 4x4, you bring this down, uh, you pair it, then you must replace it by an unpaired one, and the wrong one, which is this one, as you can see here. This one, uh, you see this one's wrong. So you brought it here in the right position, you move only the middle slice, this, the inner slice, so you just move the inner slice, so you, you must bring the outer slice back. Then you flip it by and replace it, move the inner slice again. And then flip it back, how it was. And now, what you should have is, you should have that piece correct. And uh, just to check, you'd see that, as you can see, yes, I do have that piece correct. I have everything at the bottom layer correct and in the final layer I have two unsolved ones which are these two now 
when you have a case like this <coughs> what you have to do is you need to see what you have now in this case i have two equal ones and two opposite ones, and these two which are wrong but everything else is fixed so what i can do is since the, this piece is identical to this piece i can put and i can replace this by that and by doing so it's as if i'm creating a new one but actually i'm creating the same one and that way i can cycle these three i can cycle this this and this and fix them all at once so basically what I do is, I put this in its place, as you can see I've created what was there, I remove this back here, flip it, bring the inner slice back, and flip it again. Now I should have all everything correct, and by, by I can check again by doing so, by checking that everything fits. So as you can see, the, the bottom layer is correct, the top layer, this fits nicely, this fits nicely, and finally, the yellow-blue fits nicely as well. As you can see, this was just like a 4x4, four four, and yeah, it's not so hard. Now that you've done this, what you can do is you can uh, use cuboid algorithms to fill these corners, or yeah, the corner pieces in, because that was the edge of a cuboid. Now what you do is you bring what's supposed to go there. So I want to bring this green here. And you do this algorithm. One, two, and three. As you can see, it's put it here, but it's flipped this. And to reflip that, you have to do it for another piece, like here, like so. One, two, three. As you can see. Now I have the last one. I can just do it. One, two, three. As you can see, it has flipped this and everything else is done, which means that I can't really fix the parity, but I can, technically, because the, you have identical pieces, so you can put this here. However, I'm not going to do so yet, because I'm not sure if there's going to be parity in the top layer or not. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, there is... A, if I do so, I would create a parity. But now, as you can see, as you can see, you have this correct where it's supposed to be. So you, the corners are correct. All, all the corners are correct, and you just have to. What you have to do is you have to just switch out these two, this and this. And by doing so, by doing that flip algorithm, it would flip that this as well. It's just like a cuboid. How you solve the cuboid? So you do one. And as you can see, it's solved. Now, I know that I'm not really explaining the cube, how to solve the cube very well, but I'm assuming that you do know how to solve a cuboid, and if you do, then you should be able to deduce this yourself. And be, try to do it yourself. Try not to really follow a tutorial. Just try to actually practice yourself. Now, what, now, what you need to do is you need to work on the last layer, and uh, you use the same thing first you place the edges and uh, as you can see now i'm placing them basically you need to put it on top of where it's meant to be as you can see uh, this is on top of where it is you move it out of the range of motion you flip this put it back where it was flip it again and finally with the last piece you flip it and yeah now this is what we have then what you can do is you can uh, place the corners in so as you can see here placing this yellow corner where it belongs like that and now i'm gonna place the green corner which is here as you can see the green on top of where it's supposed to be the same algorithm exactly and flip then as you can see the final two which are the white and the blue as you can see and now i've done with the bottom layer and finally move to the top layer now here uh 
<coughs> as you saw in the middle when we were fixing the middle slice we didn't have to face this but here as you can see these two are flipped these two corners and basically you use the algorithm you use in a 3 by 3 which is to flip these two now there is now I, I initially learned another algorithm to f uh, switch corners but uh, in this case uh, you can't do it and you have to use this algorithm and I think I learned this new this other algorithm which works here when I first solved uh, 4 by 4 by 6 but yeah that cube I required assistance but this cube even including the parities I learned how to solve myself uh, so yeah as you can see these two are opposite each other you do 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you just fix this, which isn't really part of the algorithm, but yeah, as you can see, this cube gets stuck a lot, but it's a pretty good cube, I love it. And uh, yeah, now as you can see, you have all the corners placed, and what you need to do is you need to do that algorithm to flip these two edges or sometimes you might have to flip two adjacent edges which I'll show you right now as you can see so what you do is you place the two the one which is so these are the two that uh, you're supposed to switch and you place it so that this one is on the uh, right and you use this one two three four five six and yeah as you can see and it, this also flips that and uh, basically it uh, although it flipped it what you can do is you, you use the same algorithm to flip t to switch these two uh, I mean no this algorithm to switch these two and it will flip it again as you can see and now you have the final two which needs to be, need to be switched and as you can see I'm gonna use that same algorithm I just showed you uh, now to flip it but the problem is you're you're faced with a parity and this parity is actually has a really interesting solve and the, the way i solved it i really like it but yeah i don't think it would yeah it would not work in a three by three by five fisher cube which doesn't exist and i don't know if you would get this parity anyways but nonetheless, because it uses the 4x4 parity switch algorithm. As you can see, in a 4x4, and uh, well, I don't have a 4x4 with me, but I'll show you the mix up cube as an example. We know that this parity, when you do down 2, and then that, down 2 again, that, down 2 again, what it does is it flips two opposite edges. And in this case, you can apply the same thing by doing it here, as you can see by switching these two but when you do that on a super cube which uh, again I'm sorry but I don't have one at the moment when you do it with a super cube it affects the centers but since this is a fisher cube you have a side where the center orientation does not matter so you can put it on this side and then use the algorithm so down two left two down two left two but from the center slice down two left two again from the center slice and finally fix this as you can see what it's done is that it's flipped that and now now that that's done what you need to do is sorry but yeah basically what you need to do is you need, you know that this piece now belongs here 